So what does ATF stand for? Alcohol, tobacco, firearms and explosives. And what else does you sell? Uh, we don't sell anything. All right. So we, well, we do, what we do here is provide a product for police officers worldwide, uh, the explosive detection capability with the dogs. How many people work in the different branches? Right here at the center here, we have 23 people assigned here to take care of the uh, canine training. Why does you use canines? Wouldn't it be more better to use dogs? Right. Well, dogs just a slang term for the canine. But you use mainly dogs or does you use mainly canines? In the United States, canine and dog, it's kind of an interchangeable word. All right, for real. Okay. Most of the dogs we get are black in color. We do get some yellows and rarely we get some chocolate colored ones too. Ain't that a bit racialist? getting mainly black dogs to do this? Oh, not at all. That's just a part of the Labrador Retriever uh, breeding. Um, ah, yeah. The black dogs are predominant. But ain't it a bit racist saying, all right, this is dangerous work, let's get the brothers in to oh, go and find the bombs? That has nothing to do with that. Why does you choose dogs to decide where bombs is? Why don't you choose a more intelligent animal like a dolphin? And again, that would be quite difficult to have a, uh, a fish tank on a cart. But, I don't know if you know this, but dolphins ain't fish. Right. They, is, they is like us. They have memories. Correct. But they have to get back to a water source every now and again. And there's, that's what they say. The, the extent of work you'd have to go into versus a dog. Um, and then again, I don't know how good their sense of smell is compared to a dog. All right. Dogs are proven. They've been used for a lot of years because of their phenomenal sense of smell. So why does they stick their noses so close to each other's body? Again, dogs, they give out um, different uh, scents. They let the other dogs know what's going on. That's why they're constantly smelling each other. Because I once smelled a dog's ass and it was horrible. Why does they do it? Different perception, though, um, something that's unpleasant to you is and unpleasant to them. Has you ever smelled a dog's ass? Can't say I have. Stay. This is Dabby. What? This is Dabby. And this is John. Hello. John. Dabby? Oh, the dog's dog is Dabby. Oh, all right, safe. When they actually find a bomb, how long does it take the dog to defuse it? The dog has nothing to do with that. The only thing that we use the dogs for uh, what we train the dogs for is to locate what we call a suspicious item. For real. Where does you get the dogs from? Uh, we get the dogs from different guide dog agencies. All right. So does you interview the dogs or does you get like one of the senior dogs to do it? Um, the different trainers actually will go up and will evaluate the dogs. Why don't you use one of the dogs who's been here for like years to interview them? Because they will know whether it is good or bad. Right, right. Well, we, we like to send, our dogs are busy, they're out looking for explosives, so they don't have the time to, to go up there and interview the other dogs, so we do it ourselves. So can these dogs smell drugs? No. Thank God. Not at all. Yo, respect. You're safe. What? Why? How does he know? <laughs> you said thank God. Well, say that out loud. Yeah. I, I don't have anything on me. You're all set. Coming up nine minutes.